Hi, welcome back to my channel Everything Business by Sirisha Varma. In today's video, we are going to talk about the types of companies that you can register if you want to start your own startup or want to start exporting your products or services to some other country. Most of the times before you can start exporting or even when you have created the startup, there are different types of company registrations that you need to do. But many people don't know what are the different types available. Even if you go to a CA, most of the times the CA expects you to know what type of company registration you need and they would like to go ahead with the process. But in today's video, I'm going to explain to you the different types of companies that you can register. What are the criteria for each of those companies and how you can register your, a company by yourself as well. So let us get into the content. But before we do that, if you like the content that I'm creating on this channel, please do subscribe and smash that like button. Let's get into the content now. Now, there are different types of companies that you can register. Remember, these types are similar if you want to do an export as well. So mostly people think if I have to export a product or a service, probably I need to get a specific kind of company registration, which is very different from the normal company registration. That is absolutely wrong. You can register a company in India just like you would register a startup or a small business. Um, and then you can start exporting from that specific entity. You don't need any other specific entity if you are specifically looking at exporting. So what are the different types of companies? Number one, proprietorship. Proprietorship, as most of you know, is either one person doing the business by themselves so they will be the proprietor of the business now proprietorship is the most easiest way to start doing business and even with proprietorship you can still export products so what do you need to become a proprietorship or to register a company as a proprietorship specifically in india there are no legal obligations that you need to um uphold to become a proprietorship concern so you don't have to do any registrations the only things that you need is the proprietor or the owner of the company needs to have his or her own pan card and his or her own bank account so the bank account has to be on your own name rather than on the business or the concern name so that is it for proprietorship you don't have to do anything else if you are registering your company as a proprietorship company that is why most of the businesses that is at least the small businesses here in india fall under proprietorship and this is also feasible for you to start exporting even with a proprietorship kind of company the second company that we have is of course the partnership company but to register for a partnership company you need to have at least a minimum of two people in the company so both would be partners in the company the different things that you would need is you have to get a partnership deed done between the two people so the partnership deed would consist of how much capital each person has brought into the company what is the share of each person depending on the capital that they brought into the company now once the partnership deed is done it has to be duly not notarized now apart from that this is just about partnership so even with a partnership concern you can also go ahead and start exporting your products or service to some other country now the third type of company that you can register in india is llp llp stands for limited liability partnership so this is an entirely new concept which came into india now this was uh, introduced as per the companies act of 2008 according to this there needs to be limited investments that the partners can bring if you have created an llp or if you have registered an llp you could also raise funds even from nris into your company apart from that you can also take institutional funding into your company 
using LLP. Now, LLP's concept is entirely different because it talks about limited liability partnership. So what does that mean? Tomorrow, if somebody sues your company or tomorrow somebody puts up a case in the court saying that you have not paid them for the services that they have provided because of course you will have your own vendors when you are creating a concern right so if that happens as partners or as co-founders of the company you will have limited liability so they cannot directly sue you they can only sue the company so that is the best part about llp and you can directly create an llp by registering with registrar of companies roc directly using the online portals apart from that you have to also get designated partner partner identification numbers so the whole process has to go through a ca so you would have to go through a ca and get a designated partner identification number now apart from that the fourth type of company that you can register is private limited company most of the people already know about this format of companies. This is um, a separate legal entity from the owner. So you have no um, connection with the company. If there is, if somebody sues you or if there is a court case, the company as such is considered to be an entirely separate entity. Your personal um, money or your personal wealth will not be taken into account whenever the sue happens. For example, let us say as a company, you have to pay uh, 100 crores to a vendor from whom you have taken their raw material or probably their services. But you are not paying this and that person goes to court and puts up a trial regarding this specific issue. Now, when this happens, you can show that the company as such does not have 100 crores. If that is the case, they cannot directly, the government cannot directly put their hands into your pockets. They cannot sue you. They cannot take your wealth. Even though you may be a richest person, you may have more than 100 crores in your bank account. They cannot put their hands into your bank account as a partner in the private limited company and take that money out only whatever is available in the company's bank account will be taken into consideration whenever somebody goes to court or sues you and that is why many people who have left the country by frauds by doing frauds etc they have private limited companies now to get a private lim limited company registered you need to get din D I N because you will be called as directors in the private limited company. DIN is short for director identification number. Just like in partnership company, you have partner identification number. In private limited company, you have DIN director identification number which you need to get. And apart from this, you can register your company through online portal of registrar of companies, which is ROC. To get then, you have to again go through the process with a CA. Now, apart from this, there is a fifth structure called as one person company. Again, this is an entirely new concept here in India. It was introduced in 2013 and anybody can start a one person company if your company's turnover is less than 50 lakhs per year then you can start a one person company there are no legal obligations for a one person company you don't have to do any registrations you just need to have a pan card as well as a bank account just like a proprietorship concern apart from this of course there are other formats of company registrations that you can do one of those is registered society so registered societies is generally applicable for big communities for example gated communities they register themselves as a society and then take care of the community by themselves apart from that we have trust we have HUF, Hindu Undivided Family, etc. But these are too complicated. You don't have to set these up if you're just going with a startup or you just want to export your products to some other country from India. I hope you found this uh, information helpful. 
This is just to give you some information or some details regarding what sort of companies you can set up here in India to start exporting. But if you want more information, of course, you have to go through a CA. But if you have this information at hand, you can ask them better questions and then decide what sort of company structure will be right for you. If you like the content that I'm creating, please do subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Remember, I have created a whole playlist series on how to export. So do check out the other videos in the how to export as well. It would be uh, a playlist which is attached at the end of this video. This is Sirisha Muthi, founder, chief strategist in Running by Pixels a business strategy design and digital marketing company. If you need help with your business strategy design or you need help taking your business online, you can directly write to me at sirisha at the rate branding by pixels.com. Sirisha at the rate branding by pixels.com. The email would be scrolling right here in this video. You can go ahead and write me a note and I would be more than happy to help you out. I'll see you again in my next video. Don't, sub don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I would be coming up with many more videos. If you are a real estate agent, I have created an entire playlist regarding real estate agents as well. One of them is branding that I just launched this week. So go ahead and check those videos out as well. I'll see you again in my next video. Please do take care. Bye-bye.